Yo, what's going on everybody? Tiki Gamer, I'm back with a brand new rebuilding video. And in today's video, we're doing a historic rebuild, the 0203 Dallas Mavericks. So taking a look at this team, they do have Dirk Nowitzki, 88 overall, 24 years old, and is on a relatively good contract right now, three years. Uh Steve Nash, 86, in his prime, um, and is on an expiring contract at the end of this year. They got Michael Finley, Nick Van Exel, Sean Bradley, uh, Roger Bell. This team is really not that bad. Uh, does need a couple more pieces to uh, actually win a championship. So let's go take a look at the coaching game plan. Um, the starting lineup is where I'd like it. Maybe get a better center. Um, so going to player contracts, the highest is Bradley. That center, 76 overall, is on an expiring contract as well as Steve Nash. So what I'm going to be trying to go out and do, we're going to go to the trade finder right here and try to find a trade for Steve Nash because we get something younger because um, he's probably, I don't want to re-sign him. He's going to be asking for a lot of money. Um, so we're going to try to get something for him rather than let him walk in free agency. And um, so... Isaiah Thomas wouldn't be in a bad option. Three-year deal is still on a relatively uh, cheap contract for the next couple of seasons. Paul Millsap, okay. So these trades are really good. Kristaps Porzingis, okay. Monte Ellis, Dwight Howard, and his cancer. I think I'm going to take this deal for Isaiah Thomas. I think Isaiah Thomas is two years younger on a three-year contract, and his salary is a little bit down. So this is a really good trade for our team, and uh, I really like uh, that move right there. So Isaiah Thomas goes straight into the starting lineup, and I think he's a better scorer than Steve Nash. So the next trade I want to go out and do is find a trade for Bradley. Okay, guys, right here I'm going to be sending Walt Williams as well as our 2017 first-round pick to the Washington Wizards for their first-round pick and Garrett Temple. So we did get rid of our uh, highest-paid player, and uh, we brought in, who was it? We brought in Jameer Nelson, who is going to get uh, some minutes coming off the bench. Not bad at all, but one thing I do want to go out and do is release some of these fuller players right here and uh, bring in Larry Sanders. He will be our starting center. I'm pretty sure he will. And he's asking for a pretty good contract. Um, can I bring in someone else? Like Ray Allen would be a uh, bad option as well. Because we do have a lot of salary cap. I didn't know that. Um, so uh, this with the starting lineups looking like Isaiah Thomas, Nick Van Exel. Um, who is it? Michael Finley, uh, Dirk Nowitzki, and Larry Sanders. Ray Allen is going to be our sixth man. So a really good bench. I feel like um, we can do a lot of work this season. And it's going to go uh, Dirk Nowitzki, Isaiah Thomas, and then Nick Van Exel. So... Hopefully, we can have a good season. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Kevin Durant does take home the MVP, averaging 30 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists. Jaleel Okafor wins Rookie of the Year. Joe Key Noah, 6 man. DeAndre Jordan, Defensive Player of the Year. CJ McCall, Most Improved. And Billy Donovan wins Coach of the Year. So, going to the standings right here, we did make the players as a 7 seed with a 500 record of 41 and 41. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki, 26 points a game and 12 rebounds. So, just crazy numbers right there. Isaiah Thomas, 18 and 8 assists. Basically, kind of doing the same thing that Steve Nash did, but a little bit down. Uh, his scoring was a little bit higher, assists were a little bit down. Michael Finley, 14, Nick Van Exel, 14, Ray Allen, 10, and Larry Sanders, 7.5 points, and uh, about 9 rebounds per game. So, in our first round matchup, we're going up against the OKC Thunder. So hard to beat this team, but hopefully we can squeeze a game out of them as uh, they jump out to a 2 nothing lead, 3 nothing lead. And okay, so we're on the verge of getting swept, but we take a game and we get eliminated in game 5 by the OKC Thunder. So... I wasn't expecting anything different than that. And uh, it looks like Cleveland has won a championship over the OKC Thunder. LeBron James follows MVP. So, uh, taking a look at the draft, uh, see what pick we got here from the Washington Wizards. So, let's go to scouting mock drafts. We have the second overall pick from the Wizards. So, if we can get Ben Simmons or Brennan Ingram, I might even try to trade that pick. Uh, but I'll see you guys once we have made our selection. Okay, so right here at the rookie signings, we did manage to get Ben Simmons first round with the second overall pick. He did fall all the way to number two. Brennan Ingram did go number one. So pending options, I'm not going to bring back Adrian Griffin. Um, so let's go to qualifying deals. None there in my free agent. So Michael Finley has expired contract. So we're going to offer him a contract. Nick Van Exel is going to test. So with Larry Sanders, uh, Larry Sanders, I should say. So any... After those two players, I really don't want to bring back anyone else. So free agents will be right here. Michael Finley does want to come back to the team. And we have $34 million in cap space. So Steve Nash is here. So we could get him back on the team. But um, we don't need a point guard. So uh, we do need a shooting guard. We're good on small forwards. Uh, and maybe a backup power forward in a center. So uh, we need to get a shooting guard first off. And uh, let's go into shooting guard. So Nick Van Exel. 
he's gonna test uh let's negotiate a contract with him hopefully he wants to come back to the team because he's really the only good person there and if he doesn't want to come why not offer a contract to jr smith um and then let's go over backup power forward okay so I wouldn't mind bringing in like Carlos Boozer wouldn't be that bad on a relatively cheap contract. But other than that, if he doesn't want to call him Mirza Teletovic and now a center. So we really need a good center to pair next to Dirk Nowitzki. So Pau Gasol would be really good um, player option. And I'll give him a trade clause. If he doesn't come, why not get Hassan Whiteside? Um, but I'd rather, much rather Pau Gasol. So um, one other thing I want to go after and I think I might offer a contract to Steve Nash. Uh, what he averaged last year, 18 and a half and nine um, assists. And Isaiah Thomas is a relatively six man. Uh, so if we can bring in Steve Nash back on the team, that wouldn't be that bad. Um, so we have a good chance of getting him. So Nick Van Exel does want to come back. Pau Gasol, can we sign all three? No, we cannot. So I think I'm just going to sign Nick Van Exel. Let Steve Nash uh, go. And uh, I think we relatively had a good offseason. So I'll see you guys once we're at the coaching game plan. Okay, guys. So here at season number two, Dirk Nowitzki is already an 89 overall. Isaiah Thomas an 87. Pau Gasol. So we basically have a big three with Pau Gasol, Isaiah Thomas, and Dirk Nowitzki. And uh, Michael Finley went up. Nick Van Exel in 81 and we also got Rudy Gay and Ben Simmons um both we traded for Rudy Gay in the NBA draft for our 18th overall selection and Ben Simmons was our second so I think this team is really good and um after the last offseason I think this team can definitely make a deep run in the playoffs so it's going to go Isaiah Thomas, Nick Van Exel, Ben Simmons, Dirk Nowitzki, and Pau Gasol. I think just Dirk Nowitzki and Pau Gasol is a playoff duo and uh, can do a lot in the playoffs. And then our bench is looking really good. Um, so I don't think I want to make any trades. Uh, it's going to go Dirk Nowitzki, uh, I guess Pau Gasol, and Isaiah Thomas. So... I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Okay, so coming to the end of season uh, number two, Russell Westbrook takes on the MVP, averaging 26 points, 9.5 rebounds, and 12 assists. Dragon Bender wins Rookie of the Year. You barely ever see that. Joakim Noah, six man, DeAndre Jordan Davis Play of the Year, Jaleel Oak for most improved, and Billy Donovan wins coach of the year. So taking a look at the standings, we did finish second right behind the OKC Thunder uh, with a 53 and 29 record. Dirk Nowitzki, yet again, a great season, 21 points and 11 rebounds. Isaiah Thomas down three points from last year with 14 points and six assists. Uh Pau Gasol, 14 and 10. Uh Rudy Gay, 12 and a half. Uh, Michael Finley, 12, Ben Simmons, 11, and Nick Van Exel a little bit down on the scoring. That's because we got Rudy Gay on the team as well as Ben Simmons and uh, he averaged 11 points so in our first round matchup, we're going up against the 7 seed of Phoenix Suns summing game by game as we drop our to a 1-0 lead, 2-0 lead 3-0 lead, and it looks like we're going to sweep them and move on to the second round where we're facing the Portland Trailblazers. So, uh, Portland is a very challenging team, but I think we got it as we're up 2-0, 2-1 2-2 two, they go up 3-2 and we got eliminated by the Portland Trailblazers. So they did get Evan Turner. They did that in real life as well. Um, I think we basically should have won that series. But Portland is going to um, almost. Okay, so they beat the OKC Thunder. And they have won a championship. So they beat us and go on and win a championship. Damon Lillard finals MVP with those amazing numbers. So we should not have a lottery pick. So I'm going to go to the, the rookie signings. And I don't think we're going to even have a pick. Because I think I traded it um, for Rudy Gay. So... Uh, we do get uh, Jesse Hammond. I'm not going to offer him a contract. He's not going to get any playing minutes. So, Ronnie Tor Torioff, uh, Rudy Gay accepted. So, going to qualifying deals. None there. And my free agent. So, Kirk Heinrich's going to test. And I'm not going to bring back Ronnie Turgoff. 67 overall. Hopefully, we have some cow space to bring in a player. And we do not. So, we have 3 million in cow space. LeBron was there. Um, and he's more than likely not going back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, we do not have any cap space to bring anyone in, so uh, it looks like we're going to have to make a little bit of a uh, change to the team, but not that much because we were second in the Western Conference, so that doesn't mean we need to make a, a big move in next season. So, we're going to take a look at our team. It's obviously the bench that we really need to, to improve on rather than the starting lineup. So, taking a look right here, um, I like how the starting lineup still going. Isaiah Thomas, Ben Simmons does enter the starting role. Didn't progress as well as I thought. Um, Dirk Powell. So, 
Um, Michael Finley is coming off the bench. It's still a relatively good bench, but after Carlos Boozer just takes a huge drop off. So um, I'm going to go see what we can do. Is there any good free agents? No good free agents. So I think I'm just going to go and try to make some trades for some bench options. Okay, as right here, I'm going to be sending two future first round picks as well as Carlos Boozer and Jameer Nelson to the Philadelphia 76ers for Sean Holmes and Dante Money Units. So this is a really good trade. Money Units brings scoring a stretch four off the bench and uh, same line up but just a couple better uh, bench options so going to it's gonna go Dirk Powell and Isaiah same as last year and I'll see you guys at the end of season number three okay so coming to the end of the season number three Kevin Red takes home MVP Ruben Copeland wins rookie of the year Joe Kino is six man Anthony Davis deep to play of the year Nicole Mo uh, Miritich wins most improved and Adrian Griffin wins coach of the year so taking a look at the standings we did finish third uh, a game uh, behind the OKC Thunder for number two in New Orleans um, makes the first seed in the Western Conference. So Dirk 18 and 10. Um, Isaiah Thomas 18. So it went up by 4.7 assists as well. Nick Van Exel 13. Ben Simmons 11. Pau Gasol 11. Uh, Michael Finley 11. Rudy Gay 9. And Monty Yunus 9. So a really good uh, overall team for us. For season number three, in our first round matchup, we're going up against the Denver Nuggets. As they squeeze out an early 1-0 lead, we tied up a 1-1. They take a 2-1 lead. We tied up 2-2. They go up 3-2. And we get eliminated by the Denver Nuggets, who are led by Kevin Love, Don uh, Danilo Garonari. Uh, and that's about it. And Emmanuel Moody, you can't forget about him. But if we look at our team... Isaiah Thomas, Michael Finley. I do not know how this team does not make the playoff. I know we got a, kind of like a lot of age on this team, including Dirk. Um, he should be like around what? Okay, so he's not that old. 26. Isaiah's 29. Basically a pretty young team. Uh, most of the players are in their prime or entering the prime. So I think we should have moved on and maybe even went to the finals. But it looks like the Orlando Magic is going to win a championship. And Paul Millsop does win finals MVP. So if you guys do want to see more rebuilding videos like this, make sure that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys.